Hi friends, welcome to my channel and a little unboxing of something that is very, very exciting for me. So exciting. I have got here a brand new deck. So this is the Crystal Sound Healing Oracle, art by Suze Bourne and it's written by Geraldine Glass. And we have 48 singing bowl audios to enhance your experience. So from what I can gather, there's a QR code on the back of each card which takes you to an audio sound of a singing bowl, which is aligned to the energy of the card. So that's really interactive, and I've never experienced that with a card deck before, so I'm quite excited to uh, to listen to that. Um, I have got a singing bowl, actually. This is my singing bowl. Here. Um, I will attempt to get it to sing, but it's not always that easy. So here we go. Well, it sang a bit, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's a a demonstration of a bowl singing. There are different types, there are different um, sounds, and yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever experienced a sound bath. They're quite, it's quite um, different. You lie on the floor while the therapist or the facilitator makes different sounds with different instruments including singing bowls it's a very relaxing experience and takes you away to another place so yeah i've been to well i've been to one and yeah it's nice experience so i'm hoping this deck will bring me further exploration of sound as a line to crystals and i yeah that's where i'm going with this anyway <laughs> so Let's get back to the deck. So the fan off, stop the glare. So a transform a transformational sound healing experience. With this interactive deck, you can experience the magic of sound healing from wherever you are. Use the QR codes on the backs of the cards to hear the exquisite, powerful harmonics of quartz alchemy singing bowls infused with gemstones, minerals and metals. Their frequencies drop you into the soul and create an inner expansiveness and awakening. When we listen, breathe, receive, embody and integrate, we heal. And there's some images on the back of some of the cards. Oh, I'm so excited for this. We've even got some sacred geometry look. So it's a two-part box with a thumb cutter. So inside we have what looks like amethyst, I think, and it says, yeah, amethyst, it's got to be. We are made of energy, sound vibration and light through sacred sound. We discover a new expression of our wholeness. And then on the inside of the bottom of the box, it says, Sound vibration is the bridge connecting heaven and earth. We journey beyond thought, beyond words, beyond human touch, into the place of the ineffable. There, transformation happens. So, the guidebook. Ooh, they feel nice. So let's have a little look at the guidebook. It is, let's have a look, 107 pages long with the acknowledgements. Um, it's a hay house deck. There's a dedication. This is 2023, by the by. So this year. A table of contents. So introduction, using the accompanying audio. Breathing techniques, that's cool. Sacred space and intention settings. And then we're on to the cards themselves. And we have 48 cards. Um, and it was about two pages for each, according to the index. 
and then about the author, about the designer and some acknowledgements. Okay, so here's the introductions. This is the cards in this deck contain photographs from a myriad of cultures and religious backgrounds. The descriptions within this guidebook include details of these photographs. As the energies contained within the alchemies of each bowl reflect and honour those of the figures, cultures and religions included. Okay, so we have a photographic deck. did not know that. Alrighty, so we have here some background. Has, I think it's like how singing bowls came to be. It says, each singing bowl you will experience in this crystal sand healing oracle deck is a one-of-a-kind instrument. Their unique overtones emanate from the alchemical powers of the ethereal sacred energies, precious gemstones, metals, and organic substances. When the bowls are played, the vibrational frequencies of these alchemies are amplified, promoting awakening, activation, bliss, discovery, joy, clarity and peace, and the transmutation and transformation of long-buried stagnant and blocked energies. Okay, the deck consists of 44 single bowl cards plus four harmonic sets. Included is a special bowl that cracked apart in my hand as I was playing it and has been repaired. All right, some more of the background. How to use the accompanying audio. The back of each card, here we go. The back of each card has a QR code to connect you to the sounds of your chosen card. You do not need to have a crystal bowl to experience their beautiful tones. The deck is complete with the 48 sound bites to connect you to these crystalline, to the crystalline vibrations that have been lovingly recorded in high fidelity stereo for your enhanced auditory experience. So maybe use headphones. We have some breathing techniques. So the book will be, you will be guided to use different breath techniques with the alchemy mantras. Wow. Sacred space, intention setting, so creating a sacred space and what that actually entails. Don't forget your phone so that you can may scan the QR codes and listen to the bowls once you have begun your reading. And then we're into the card. So we get a message, an alchemy message. We get some key phrase, divine light embodied for the first one. What does this card mean for you? Alchemy mantra. And then here is the mantra itself. Feel the vibrations of these words and the crystalline tones. Nice. So get that for each one. We have about the author. So the author is a singer and musician who began on Broadway. Wow. And then the designer. He's trained in psychology and interior design. So it looks like it's an abstract deck then by the looks of that. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards. So we're thinking it's photo photography and abstract. So that'd be interesting, won't it? Okay. So first off, these are oracle-sized cards. You can see the size of my hand to the card. It's like, that's a stretch. Um, a standard-sized tarot deck is here. This is the mystical tarot. I've just done a walkthrough of this one actually. So this is a low scarabeo. And there's your size difference. Just for comparison. The cardstock is Hay House cardstock. So it's like, we all know what, surely we know what Hay House cardstock's like. <laughs> Cardboardy, matte finish. These are the backs. So we have some sacred geometry there and then we've got the QR code oh oh excited to try one of those okay so let's just have a look at the imagery first so what do we have yes we've still got this sacred geometry and then we have what looks like a seascape with stormy clouds and the sun coming through those clouds hmm it's a bit like that weather today, actually, and the sun's going in. <laughs> so we've got the sunshine on the sea there. And actually, it's the same image. It's the same image, but upside down. And this back in here sort of looks like watercolour paper. 
It's got that sort of textured look. The temple within. Elemental balance, harmony, centeredness and reverence. Yeah, it looks like abstract watercolour. Light of the soul, phenocyte. So this is another blue sky with refracted light. Amethyst, yes, that's that from the inside of the box. It's the same image. Okay. Spiritual expansion, beauty and purification. Again, watercolour. Although, what's in the background there? I can sort of see an animal there. I think. Might just be making that up. <laughs> Aqua aura quartz, balance, equilibrium and flow. Some more water abstract watercolour and some what looks like a wave maybe in the background. Platinum goddess, Larimar and Rose Quartz. And another seascape. With some sacred geometry. So so far it's following a pattern really, isn't it? It's watercolour with a photograph of a seascape and some sacred geometry. It seems to be the aesthetic here and watercolour paper. Okay, soulmate alchemy, embracing living, loving presence. So there's no actual crystal there aligned. Cosmic blue palladium, unity, wisdom and regeneration. And we have some Egyptian energy from the Ankh. Saint Germain, frankincense, elevate, awaken, transform. Quite sure what that is there. Sugilite, platinum. So we have a sugilite crystal there. Wholeness, forgiveness, and dreams. Pink spirit, gold limonite. Transmutation, devotion, divine feminine. And it's very. Beautiful colours, and it looks like there's water droplets there as well. Nice. Ancient Chi Tibetan copper. Again, some sort of a sacred geometry. Activate strength and life force. And we have another seascape. We have a Buddha. Buddha's delight, Neptune gold, laughter, communication, immunity. Super Seven Quartz, Platinum Goddess, Bliss, Gold. So they're quite simple um, images. Hey, Tiger's Eye, we some Tiger's Eye here. Celestial Gold Rebirthed, Courage, Liberation, Healing the Heart. Labradorite, Celestial Gold. Seeing the unseen, visionary capabilities. I love it when things align. Earth anchor, earth vortex, platinum. And we have empowerment, remembering your legacy. And here we have a mountain. Universal mother, nurturing support and steadiness. And we have a pregnant figure here. Ruby and Peridot. I do love Ruby. Here we have it as celebration, prosperity and coherence. Ruby is a very energising stone. And Earth Anchor for 21. Rootedness, recalibration and Kundalini rising. And we have what looks like a forest landscape. Pink Tourmaline. Compassion, clearing wounds and restore. So 
This is sort of a, a healing energy deck. Lepidolite, calm, focus and serenity. Well, the interesting thing here about lepidolite is it actually contains lithium. And lithium, I don't know if it's still used in medicine today, but it was used for uh, to calm women down <laughs> back in the Victorian days because it was used to treat mental illness, uh, mania, highly, ex you know, if a woman was too excited, then give her some lithium. <laughs> But um, I thought, I think it was um, very dangerous. But anyway, that's a little bit about lepidolite and why I think it aligns to calm, focus and serenity. So maybe using the stone um, energetically would be a safer way to go than the actual lithium itself. <laughs> anyway, pink spirit gold and dead sea salts, yin and yang and perfect harmony. And we have got yin and yang. represented on the card by these two figures emerald platinum there's some rainbows here unconditional love patience and nourishment larimar and rose quartz so grace respect and emotional healing another seascape Charcoal, cleansing, clearing, releasing negativity. Beautiful. Mold device. Oh, synchronicity. Synchronicities. Chakra activating. Transcendence. Very expensive, but beautiful. Okay, Creative, creativity, passion and shine your light. And this is earth, vortex and platinum. And we have a mountain scape or a desert scape, I'm not quite sure. Golden flower of life and palladium. So this is um, the sacred geometry we can actually see on a lot of the cards. Inner child connection, illumination and simplicity. Halite, mineral salts. Um, easing grief, loss and sadness. And so we have some fire energy there. And a seascape again. Bliss embodied. Ease, lightness and tranquility. And another seascape. Oh, rose quartz and platinum. So here we've got a rose. And this is gentleness, tenderness and cherishing. Dylan's Bowl, Saint Germain, Love Beyond Time and Space. And we've got, look at that halo. Wow. 35, Citrine and Aqua Aura Quartz. So this is the Aqua Aura Quartz and this is the Citrine. And Citrine is well known for confidence, self esteem, and expansion, and the Solar Plexus Chakra. Ascended Master, Truth, Self-Worth, Up-Leveling, and the Buddha figure. Underneath a tree, oh brilliant, where the Buddha found enlightenment, underneath the Bodhi tree. Abalone, Neptune, Gold and Platinum, and this is Magical Freedom Ceremony. And here I have my abalone bowl. This is it's beautiful, isn't it? This is some lavender here. Oh, gorgeous. And we've got another cityscape here with some crushing waves. Indigo, platinum, intuition, authenticity and alignment. Ruby. Rootedness, vitality and manifestation. Definitely bringing the energy of the crystals in. We have feminine legacy for aqua aura quartz and grounding, stress release and integration. And the flower. Golden four leaf clover. Good luck, happiness and abundance. Wow. 
So we've got some plant energy. Lemurian seed crystals, sunk shungite and aqua oil of quartz, stillness, rejuvenation and soul purpose. Another beautiful seascape. And Dara Palladium, adoration, wonder and inner fire. And some very, very famous statues there on Easter Island, I would imagine. Halo gold, dead sea salt, platinum iron. This is enthusiasm, spontaneity, spontaneity and protection. Frequencies of sacred geometry, dolphin energy, enchantment and waves of love. And here we have some dolphins from above. Journey of the soul, elegance, mastery and totality. Looks like the universe. Healing generational patterns, leadership, action and stamina. Good for ancestor work then. We've got some mountain scape. Tuning the heart, boundaries, insight and pure potential. And that looks like rhodochrosite to me. I think. Rhodochrosite maybe. And maybe some rose quartz there as well. So, those are the cards. So, what shall we do? Shall we listen to a tune? <laughs> what shall we go with? Gosh, that's a bit high vibrational. Let's find... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the ruby. There it is, ruby. Let's have a look at the book. Right, here we go. 59. And it says, Rootedness, Vitality and Manifestation. So the alchemy message. If the oscillation of the deep-toned ruby bowl is sounding in your life today, you are rooting into an unshakable, unwavering strength. This majestic bowl brings a flow of pristine, noble energy. There is an unwavering presence within you that may bend but never breaks. Ruby asks you to re-examine your priorities and commit to integrity at the highest level. Ruby encourages manifestation by awakening you at a cellular and quantum level. What does this card mean for you? Ruby enables a pure and impassioned expression of your creativity and sexuality, resonating with inner fire and devotion. The rich red hues of the ruby enhance rooting and invite you to come home, land in love, and live from your authenticity. Ruby is grounding you in your vitality so you can rise and manifest your soul's destiny. Right, so let's have a little listen to the singing bowl. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to play the singing bowl while I read what it says, because it doesn't last very long, so hopefully... It'll last long enough for me to read the entry. Okay. Close your eyes and allow them to gently roll downward, focusing below you, deep into the earth. Feel yourself planted like the roots of a great tree, as you imagine breathing in from the earth. Draw the air up through your lower body, your belly, your heart, your throat and your third eye and exhale out through your crown. Draw in a breath infused with light from two feet above your crown. Imagine yourself as a part of the whole. Feel the light moving through you as you speak the mantra out loud or silently. Energy is flowing and glowing in every cell of my being. I am deeply rooted. I exude vitality. I see and hear the vibrational frequency of my dreams and visions. I ignite my power as creator. I manifest from the unseen to the seen.
So that was the singing bowl. It doesn't last very long. I actually played that twice while I was um, speaking. So there's that to consider. Um, I was hoping they'd be longer than that and actually um, allow you to sort of meditate on the card and to meditate on the message and the mantra. So um, that is on SoundCloud, I think it was on. Yes, it's on SoundCloud. So I don't know if there's um, an option there to um, keep repeating it, you know. Maybe there is. I don't know SoundCloud very well. But anyway, that was my little <laughs> play with my latest purchase, the Crystal Sound Healing Oracle by Geraldine Glass. There we go. Art by Susborn. So I hope you enjoyed that little uh, experiment. <laughs> Until the next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.